today I am going to show you some visitors, our garden visitors, a ladybird. So cute. And another visitor, a ladybird of different color, yellow ladybird. I think she is here to say hello to those fish. Oops, we have got third one, which is heading towards pond. A green ladybird. Do you want to welcome them? Let's do it. This is our today's project. Let's choose three stones anywhere from your garden from park or if you are visiting to seaside you can find them there too and uh, collect or select three stones which is smooth and suitable for a ladybird and we are ready for our today's project so clean your stone and dry it If you feel if any dirt on them just clear it and then we need acrylic paints a palette brush so for three different colors we are going to use three brush maybe you are using round brush or flat brush whatever available choose your own color here I'm having ochre yellow for the first one. Take acrylic paint and paint the stone completely all over. If your paint is dry, you can mix water. Acrylic paints are water based. So you can use water to dilute them and paint it thoroughly. Checking on that you haven't left any area which is not painted. Just one coat of acrylic paint on a stone is enough. If you are allergic to paints, you can use gloves in your hands. I am very used to using these products. So I am not using gloves here. But it's better to use gloves in your hands. Actually, I am not having gloves, but I am wearing my old robe to protect my clothes. So, to protect your clothes, you can use apron or any old cloth you can put it on. And then in the same way, using your favorite color, do the another stone. We had three stones, so three different colors. Actually, I'm using my hand, my fingers to make it smooth. For me, it becomes more easier. When I'm using my fingers, it becomes more smooth. Now, after getting the first coat dry completely, we are ready to make face of the ladybirds. So using black paint, black acrylic paint, and then draw a line on the top of a stone 
to make the facial area for the ladybird. So with your steady hand, making a straight line across the stone and paint it with black paint. carry on until you get satisfied with your result. If weather is good then this paint will get dry within 20 minutes. But if it's raining or it's not warm then it takes a bit time so you have to give them proper time to get dry keep on checking maybe it will take one hour or two hours maybe more than that Once you've done the facial area, make one straight line on the back of the ladybird with black paint. Like you're dividing the red surface area into two different parts. Carefully. Don't get scare just do it carefully and with trial and error you will get perfection now I'm going to make some dots like what you see on the body of ladybird so black dots the top two dots for the antenna and uh, each side left and right going to make three to four dots so all together maybe eight to nine dots Or you can put more if you want. It's totally creativity, totally imagination. So use your own mind, your imagination to make or create a ladybird with a stone. So if you are happy, let them dry. Gently placing somewhere for drying and now follow the same methods to do or paint other two ladybirds Once you're done with your 
black paint let's start using white acrylic paint for the eyes so make a two dots on the top black part and uh, maybe you can make a smiley face just below the eyes on the place of mouth using the same paint white paint because white paint stands out very well beautiful and smiley ladybird you can use very thin brush maybe zero number brush to make smiley face of the ladybird Maybe using a black paint, uh, you can make a little antenna. It's up to you. As you are using your own creativity, your own imagination. So decorate your ladybird as much as you want. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.